the Leo and Danny show. Jerry, should we talk about your experience this weekend on the shoot, or should we talk about the man who visited the Hitching Post Motel? We can do both if you want to. Oh, my God. The fans, I think, are going to care more about the second thing. Yeah. Your visitor. Uh, Tell us what happened, Jerry. Take it away. So, uh, what? it must have been two weeks ago now, maybe three weeks ago. RDR was in San Diego. Rat dick And he was like, hey, man, I'm clean, I'm sober. Do you want to hang out? And I said, is VV with you? And she said, he said, she's driving me around. Rat pussy pants. I was like, pan. you know what? Rat pussy pants. So I was like, you want to know what? Sure. Come on over. So he comes over to my house. I'll tell you what. Definitely not sober. God damn it. What, what do was you he expect? On? He yeah. comes over Sorry. Drunk, as, drunk as hell. Brings over a bunch of Mike's hard. He's trying to get me to drink. It's Monday night. I have to go to work the next day. So I'm like, Rat Day, I'm not. I'm not drinking. With you. Like that's not how this is going to go. Do you still address him as Ratchet? And even though he's been stripped of that title, yeah, you can't. No, I was calling him Sky. We should, by the way, unrelated, hold a contest to see who inherits the name Ratchet Ralph. Yeah, we that's need to like bring a, in. Yeah. It's it's like uh, one of the guys in Kiss. Don't they just like switch out yeah, drummers names, and they all yeah. keep the same name? That's, we should definitely do that though. It's it's got to be uh, do a contest for a new crew Danny member. Burke would wa- it would blow you for that probably. He's a fairly strong replacement to Ratchet yeah, Ralph, yeah, yeah, honestly. Bad. Continue, Jerry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Danny, Danny Burke, Burke, the guy we had on the podcast last week. Continue, Jerry. Okay. So he comes over, super drunk, with this dumb little dab rig that he brings with him everywhere with no water in it, just doing dabs and being obnoxious. And I'm sitting there trying to get the full story of what happened from Phoebe's perspective, Rat Pussy Pam's perspective. Okay. Thank you for using her Christian name. Yeah. So, um... Exactly the story we heard up until that point was right. He woke up in the car, started beating the crap out of her, and she called the police. He does this whole thing where he tells the police he can't, they can't arrest him because he's Rat Dick Ralph. <laughs> so the police look him up. Think about if they start police threatening him, him with charging him for everything that happened in the YouTube video. Like, I don't know if they could actually do that, but they were just messing with him. And he ends up going to jail. He spends the three months in jail. Rat Pussy Spam's parents. Right? They have a restraining order against each other. I, I should also say that. But her parents refinanced their house so that they could get a second mortgage on the on their home Who's, so they wait, could bail. Hey, I'm sorry, Fan Jerry. You keep saying they and their. The parents. Oh, sorry. Rat, Rat Pussy, Pussy Pam's, Pam's parents, parents refinanced their house to get a, new, a second mortgage to help who? What? Bail Rat Dick Ralph out of jail. I'm gonna bail him out of jail. Rat Pussy Pam's mortgage. parents help bail out Rat Dick. Wow. Yeah. So now he's on bail. They have a restraining order against each other, and they both live inside. Who's that? Inside. Rat Pussy and Rat Dick have Rat a restraining Pussy order Pam, against each other. They live together in Rat Pussy Pam's parents' house. Okay. Uh, does, does he look and, healthier in any way? Does their relationship look okay? No. Then, she no. looks like... Uh, they both look like crap. They look no different. Hmm. Well, I thought, I thought she looked kind of cute when I made so. out with her. Well, Danny made out with her, and she and thought she was pretty attractive. So, well, Listen, uh, so well, is he a danger to himself or anybody else? I'm sure. He's <laughs> no different. He's exactly the same. He hasn't learned anything. And it, it, does he have another court date? How does that work? Uh, yeah, I, I think it was last week or next this week, next week, somewhere around this time frame. Um, but, I mean, I haven't talked to him since. So I saw this number blocked. He's been texting me off Rap Pussy Pam's number every once in a while. But hmm. do you it. have a figure as far as what his bail was? It was a lot. I per Reddit, it was like thirty to forty thousand dollars. And the cops looked up the video, and we're going to charge him with additional crimes. I'm trying to recall what actual crimes he committed in that video that they could pin him for. Uh, the destruction of the Joshua Tree. Oh. Um, <laughs> that would be funny. That something be so funny. about public intoxication. I don't know if that, those two things, if they were to even charge it, like if that's legal, I think they were more just messing with him. Yeah, does the... Which, I mean, why wouldn't they? Does a typical, like, 22-year-old cop even know it's illegal to smoke a Joshua yeah. Tree? I'd never heard of that before. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not totally sure. And then maybe, again, he was just lying. So... 
Hmm. I don't know. Uh, that seems sure. ultra That's specific. It seems like if he were lying about talking about being Rat Dick Ralph and shit, he would have made the story cooler. Like the cops reduced his sentence because he were Rat Dick Ralph. And they put because a gun to, him, to his head, yeah. you know? But they did, and all he said was it almost made it worse. <laughs> That's fine. It sounds like he's being honest then. So he was obnoxious. He, yeah. was, he was drunk so, and he was smoking out of it. He was, he was high out of his mind and he was drunk. Yeah. And I told him he could only come over for 30 minutes because it was like 7 o'clock by the time he showed up. I, I'm in bed by 8. And most he's. Days. Uh, so I was like, yeah, you can only come over for half an hour. Well, I need to go to bed. Where was and his he comes thoughts? over and then he doesn't want to leave. All right. Did you say anything about Danny? And he was or? just asking. He was like, "Is there any chance I can get back in the crew? Is oh, there any way we can okay. fix this so I can get back?" To it? And I kept telling him no. But yeah. I don't know, Jerry. I didn't say no. I, I think said, you were being I don't hasty. have the power to answer those questions. <laughs> I think he's turned his life around from everything I've heard here. Stop it, Jared. Probably he's working uh, a warehouse job. And I don't think Rattic <laughs> Ralph would have tried to have sex with Mia. Actually, yeah. that's not true. He actually certainly direct messaged her once. So. Oh God, Rattic. Thank you.